Hello and welcome to another UMEC tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about these snapping tools. Let's jump right into it. So you'll see that I have these four shapes on my canvas right now and right now they exist in two-dimensional space and that's totally okay. For the purposes of this demo and for snapping uh, we don't really need anything more complex than this. But do know that snapping works in many different situations and is very helpful to know how to apply when you're designing. I'm going to go back to the front view and you'll find the snapping tools in two places. First place is in this menu which we call the quick menu. By default the quick menu is enabled but you may have disabled it. You can also find the snapping tools in the settings panel in the side panel. So if you go to the side panel and then the settings which is indicated by the gear icon the snapping tools will be under snap. Now you also see that quick menus right now is turned on. If I toggle this off, that menu down below will disappear. If you want the quick menu back, which I highly suggest you work with, tap quick menus and your quick menus are now enabled. Let's jump into snap. All right, so we have uh, general snapping tools, which is snap to grid. This applies to both curves and control point. I'll talk about that in a second. We have object snapping tools for uh, things to snap to the center of an axis or to the center of an object or to the edges of an object. And we have control points. Uh, and this is so when you're editing control points, the points will snap either to the edges of a curve or to any point on another curve. So let's do all of those things. To start with, we're going to do snap to grid. And if you toggle it on from the quick menu down below, you'll see that up here it's toggled on in the settings. If I double tap on an object and select it, you'll see that if I start moving this object, the center of that object will snap to an intersection in the grid. So right now this curve is snapping, the center of this curve is snapping to the grid. Likewise, if I do it with a circle, if I freely move around, the center of the circle will snap to a point on the grid. You can see that as I move, the circle snaps. All right. Like I also said, snapping uh, applies to control points. So if I go to edit this curve and I start moving these control points, you'll see that they want to snap to the grid as long as snapping to grid is on. All right, so that is snapping to grid. You can find it down below here. It's the first icon or the icon all the way to the left in the quick menu indicated with several small circles. I'll toggle that off for now. And now I'll toggle on the next one over, and that is the object snapping. So if I toggle this one on, it automatically activates the center of an object over here. The other ones are used uh, less frequently. So when you access the quick menu version, this is only the center of an object. This is helpful for things like centering objects over each other. So if I wanted to center this square over the circle, you'll see that as I move it, the square centers itself to the center of the circle. And if I drag it all the way over the circle, it's gonna to snap to the center and both of these are now aligned to each other's center. But if I move the square, for example, I know that the center of this square is now aligned to the center of the circle. Likewise goes for the triangle and all the other shapes. Very helpful if you're trying to align two objects in a complex model. I'm going to toggle this option off, but I'm going to talk about the other ones. So center of an axis basically is snapping towards uh, the one of the axes. So if you're moving this and you want to move this shape, oh, you'll see that as I move, the axis appears. And if I start moving uh, this square, the center of this will move along the x-axis or in this case, the center of it will move along the y-axis. So this is very helpful if you're trying to precisely move an object in 3D space. That's pretty much the only time you use the center of axis snapping tool. And the edges. So just like the center of an object, if you want to snap 
to the edges of something, you'll see that as I move this square down, it's going to snap to the edge of the circle or to the bottom of the circle or the bottom of the triangle in that case. And you'll see that you make is trying to find the various edges that exist in this scene. This can get a little tricky sometimes if you have a lot of objects, but it's very helpful if you want to align the top of this square to the top of the circle. So that's it for edges. And now on to uh, control points for the curves. So if I toggle on the last option, which is down below in the quick menu, I have curve edges toggled on and I also have any curve point. Curve edges will uh, basically snap to the end of another curve. So if I have another curve like this, if I go to edit this and I snap or I move this control point, you'll see that it'll snap to the edge of that curve or it'll snap to the edge of this curve. Very helpful if you're trying to align two curves or connect two curves. In addition, we have any curve point. What this means is that if I take the end point of a curve or pretty much any control point and I move it, you'll see that it'll snap to the curve, to any other curve in the scene. So it'll snap to the circle, for example, snap to the square, snap to the triangle. And any of these points will do that. This is very helpful if you're trying to do something pre precisely uh, and, and align another curve with the edge of another shape. You can toggle them off individually within the settings, but when you toggle from the quick menu, if you have any curve point enabled, it'll turn both of them off at, when you turn this option off. So I'm going to turn this off. This is the last icon or the one furthest to the right. Turn that off and right now none of our snapping tools are enabled. So that's pretty much it for the snapping tools. You have the general ones, uh, snap to grid, the object snapping tools, and the control point snapping tools. I know this tutorial was a little bit long, but I hope it was helpful and informative for you. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages. We'd love to hear from you, and we can't wait to see what you create. Have a great day, guys. Take care.